Okay, I'd like to um, welcome you all here today. Um, first announcement today is about our principal partner, and not surprisingly, it's uh, AMCOM. Um, we're very proud to be entering a partnership with AMCOM. We've got a lot of commonality, which is what we're after at the WACA and with the Scorchers, is working with partners who are on the same wavelength of us. We're, both um, we're delighted to become a major sponsor of the Perth Scorchers. Um, our brand is very important to us, not only in Perth, uh, but across the country and we see the success that the Perth Scorchers have had uh, will continue, we hope, Justin, and, uh, and with that uh, our brand will grow across the national stage, so we're delighted to be involved. So thank you. Thank you, Mark. Welcome. All right. For us to continue to be successful and to give our sponsors um, the best return. We've got a number of big signings coming up over the next little bit and the first one, I'm still pinching myself actually that um, we've been able to secure him uh, to the Scorchers and I'll hand you over to the screen to have a chat to him. Hello everyone, thanks for coming along. I'm Michael Klinger and it's an honour to be named for the Perth Scorchers alongside Amcom. I'm speaking to you all the way from Bristol, where I'm currently playing for Gloucestershire, so it's great to be here with you today. <laughs> uh, Michael, it's probably no surprise you're playing for the Scorchers after you came across to the Warriors. Uh, what does the Scorchers offer to you this season, do you think, and, and in your time in Perth? Well, I think um, it, it, was a, it was a very um, attractive choice to come to Perth Scorchers, obviously being a, a very well-run and well-drilled team and, and being um, very successful over the last couple of years. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure Justin and, and, and all the players will certainly be looking to, to make the final again. And, and once we do that, um, certainly go ahead and win it. So um, the Scorchers obviously have a very successful formula um, in being in the finals the last couple of years. And, and I'm looking forward to be part of that um, this uh, summer. Michael, uh, you're probably not aware, even if the Warriors, uh, the uh, Scorchers rather make it through to the final, you won't be playing at the Wacker if you make the final. It'll be in Canberra. How do you feel about hey, um, that? Listen, it's, it's obviously a, a new, new venture from, from Cricket Australia. Um, I'm sure the actual the BBL teams who, who make the fall, who finish on top, would, would have loved to have it at the home ground. But um, as, as players, we, we accept all these sort of decisions and are happy to go with what, what Cricket Australia go for. And um, hopefully the Scorchers can, can win it this year in, in Canberra, and that'll be great as well. So I'm disappointed from the fans' point of view. I'm disappointed from a cricket point of view that we won't be able to play on our home turf um, because of the advantage we've had. Um, I'm hopeful that it's a World Cup year and that's the reason we're doing it and it not, won't necessarily become the trend. Um, from my point of view, you know, I hope it goes back to the system that we've had for the last three years after this year. Yeah. What sort of international players are you looking at? You know, you've had some rock solid local players, like so you've lost to Kadic. Um, do you look for a similar player to Kadic or do you need a Herschel Gibbs to create some excitement? Yeah, well, Simon Kadic is a, is a loss because of his leadership. Uh, and the strategy we've taken for three years is one, to get a senior player who can bring leadership to the group, not only skill. Would you be looking at former left-handed test openers as potential um, yeah, we would be looking at former test out if there's any out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm one. not coming back if that's who you're talking about. <laughs> 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 yeah. Graham Smith, yeah, you, you, that's obviously who you're talking about. I mean, he'd be an attractive um, package, there's no doubt about that. Um, whether he's available and whether he's interested, there was an article recently on the website saying that he was retiring from cricket. So um, they're the sort of things that you look at. He had a knee, he had knee surgery. Um, from Surrey three, four months ago. So, I mean, it's for someone like that, he's got a way up whether he wants to play cricket for one. But, you know, anyway, if you could secure someone like him, like Jack Callis or a recently retired player, obviously they'd be, a, they'd be very good to have. 